Mm -hmm. There's a lot of mysteries in the world. And, you know, one that's super interesting to me is the Great Pyramids of Giza. They've always been interesting, you know, just the simple fact that they're on our money and we live in America, the pyramids are in Africa, but they're the most iconic piece of architecture, architecture and history that we have known to man. There's what millions of blocks on there in, in that pyramid of Giza. It's like a man-made mountain. There's so many different theories on what it is and why it was made from ranging from things like it's uh the world's first computer in a different type of way it's a power plant it was a tomb you know there's so many different theories but it i personally think that it was a power plant and there's a lot of different evidence of why it could be a power plant but it's just so far removed of what you know school teaches us that it was a it was a, a tomb basically you know there's a lot of facts like there was never ever a body found in the pyramid of giza you know how big it is is just insane like <clears throat> it's a man-made mountain like how could people have created this thing especially if they're so archaic like we know like we were taught them to be you can see here <clears throat> each one of these blocks is a crazy weight that you'd have to have a uh, machinery to build, you know, like they didn't just have a bunch of slaves building. This is crazy. Look at how big this is. Look at the comparison to the people. And this is stacked up super, super high. People like, um, people like Nikola Tesla believe that the pyramids was actually a power plant and it could give the world energy and this is super interesting because when tesla died the government actually came and took all of his information took all his paperwork on this he was building a, a beam a big beam that would give everybody free energy for forever basically and he had a lot of funding but the funding got got taken away once you know the people who run the power industry found out what his plans were but if you see here, look at the architecture of this. And we're told that this was made 6,000 years ago. When we go inside of the pyramid, we'll really be able to see, you know, how intricate it is and how interesting it is. You know, there's so many different theories. There's theories that they had technology based on geometry of objects and the frequency that the objects put off in order to lift these blocks you know sounds crazy but you know if in order to make that whatever however they made that it would have had to have been a crazy way and it couldn't have just been slaves building it because there would have been evidence of the things left behind for construction because in order to build something like that you're going to need crazy construction it's the most interesting, intricate thing on the earth. So it's just super, super interesting. I think it was a, I think it was a power plant because way back then they found water erosion. So there was water in the pyramid. And when you see certain parts of the pyramid, there would have been like water in the bottom of it. And it would like went up through like uh, where all these crystals are, all these quartz crystals, electrifying it, and then it has some type of chain reaction, and it can create energy. They've they found evidence of this stuff in different chambers, such as this chamber right here. I'm going to show you guys. Take a look at this. See different spots like this here, like. This is like super intricate. This is super intricate stuff. And it's interesting because we still to this day cannot build. We can't build this. So, you know, clearly they knew some things that we didn't, that we don't know.
we still don't know to this day, you know, and there was never a body found inside of the pyramid. So it couldn't have been a tomb. I think that's just what they tell us. And they believe people are dumb enough to believe that. I personally think all of this technology that we have has been is been around for the longest. You know, we've had VR since the 1940s. You know, I think we have crazy technology that's classified that nobody knows about other than the people who are at the top and the people who control that type of stuff. And they just kind of dish it out to us whenever it makes sense, you know, because we went from flip phones to iPhones like that. Our current phones operate at the at the same speed like at, of the of the computers they had that went to the moon allegedly you know so it's just crazy to me you know i think it definitely was uh, a power plant and <clears throat> i want to know what you guys think is it just nonsense is it did they is it just really a tomb right is it man-made? Do you really believe a bunch of slaves built that? I don't. I think it's more likely uh, they had crazy technology back in the day, and we had a flood. We forgot all the technology, forgot how it works, and people came on later on and were like, oh, we built that. I think that makes a lot more sense, which is why there's so many pyramids uh, in that same area that look like trash compared to the Pyramid of Giza. So it's just something interesting to think about.